Hey guys, it's Matthew from Kings of Kong, and I just want you to hit that subscribe button if you find this video to be helpful. I'm going to be posting some more tips and tricks. One thing I've been having trouble with is my Elgato HD 60S was saying that was having USB 3.0 communication issues, and so I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. It's pretty simple. Go to Devices, or I'm sorry, go to Power Management, and you're going to want to go there. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to adjust your settings in that power You'll go in additional power settings, and you want to make sure that you're in high performance mode. You can change that setting and just make sure it's in that. That's the first thing that you're going to want to do. Next, you're going to want to go to where it says choose what the power buttons do. You'll see it over here on the left. Click that, and then change settings that are currently unavailable. You definitely going to want to hit that. Hit that button, and that helps you change those settings down there as far as shutdown settings. See where it says turn on fast start rec startup recommended? I've already unclicked it because I've done this fix, but you're going to want to go down there and you're going to want to click that and make sure that that is off. That's really important for you to do. All right, the next step might be a little bit more tedious, but you're going to go into device manager and you're going to find your USB ports. So you're going to hit device manager, wait for that to open. You're going to go to where it says Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And then you're going to go see where it says USB 3.0 Properties. And then you want to go to Power Management. Right there, you'll see it. Click on that. And then it says Allow the Computer to Turn Off the Device to Save Power. You're going to unclick all of that. And I actually recommend going through all of USB ports and making sure if they've got Power Management, make sure you tell it that you don't want to turn off the power. And then you're going to want to restart your PC. And this should fix your issues with that I haven't had any problems it's been really frustrating at times because it's been like one day it'll work one day it won't and this seems to have fixed that problem another issue you might have is make sure that if you're using any other 3.0 devices that you use the Elgato first and so if you've got a USB 3.0 mic plug in your Elgato first and then use your mic and that should fix most of your problems I know this is really frustrating I was actually about to go buy a different capture card because I was frustrated with this communication issue and then I did this tutorial and saved myself some money so if you've got any other capture card alternatives be on the Elgato I'd love to hear your recommendations it seems to be that's the most popular one but it also seems to have a lot of issues and seems to have these weird issues and so if you've got any recommendations, we'd love to hear from you. Let me know if this actually worked for you. Again, this solved my problem, so I hope it helps you out. Thanks for joining.